Praise the Lord, people of God. This is Angela Shelley with Pray to Win. Today, if your child is going through any difficulty in their life or in their behavior, I invite you to pray with me right now. What we can do in just five minutes of prayer can dramatically change the next five years. Amen? Our children are being bombarded on every side with new forms of evil every day. The Bible says in Romans 1.30 that men are not only doing evil, but they're inventing new ways of doing evil. Our children are battling the enemy's attacks in ways we've not before seen. We are seeing new levels of anxiety, addiction, sexual perversion, self-hate, depression, a thanklessness and arrogance, anger, lawlessness to levels we've not seen before. And they're also fighting for their attention spans. They're fighting against envy and anger and rage and they're fighting for their identities that can only be truly found in Jesus Christ. The good news, the good news, is that God did not leave us helpless or hopeless. We have a God, amen? We have a God. So pray this with me as we ask heaven for help. We pray in faith, believing that God hears us, that his ears are attentive to the cries and the prayers of the righteous. This is our confidence. And if you're not confident, that's okay. I am, <laughs> glory to God. And I join my faith with wherever yours is right now. So get somewhere where you can focus on Jesus. And as we pray, if you sense the need to pray in a specific area, just pause this video, press into that, pray as you feel led by the Holy Spirit of God, and then come back. If you hear the Holy Spirit speaking to you at certain points during this prayer, pause the video, listen to what the Lord is saying, write it down, and then come back to the video and finish it out. Amen? Even if this prayer seems a bit long, stay with it. What we can do it together in just a few minutes of prayer can totally and dramatically change the trajectory of the rest of your day. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we join together before your throne, thanking you that in the name and by the blood of Jesus, we have access to your grace and your mercy. Thank you so much for your loving kindness towards us. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You said, let the little children come to me and do not forbid them, for such is the kingdom of heaven. Lord Jesus, we bring our children before you right now. Father, we repent as parents for any lapses in our judgment that have given the enemy access to torment our children. We repent for any behavior of ours that has harmed our children in any way. Whether we knew it or didn't know it, knowingly or unknowingly, Father, we repent right now. And we ask that you will forgive us. Father, we repent for any absence in our children's lives that has left them unprotected physically, emotionally, spiritually. Whether knowingly or unknowingly, we repent right now and we ask that you will forgive us. And we ask that you will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Father, we ask for your mercy. We ask that by your grace that you will restore. We ask that you will restore our relationships, that you will restore our children. And we ask that you would even restore us and keep us from the consequences of our negligence. Keep us from the consequence of our shortcomings. Keep us from the consequences of our sins. Father, it doesn't matter if our children are 4, 14, or 40. We ask that you would help us to be exactly the parent that they need us to be for this time in their lives. Father, may we not pair it according to our wisdom, but may we do so according to the very wisdom of God. We ask for your wisdom. Your word says that if any of us lacks wisdom, that all we need to do is ask and that you would give it to us liberally and that you wouldn't turn us away by any means. Father, I lift up those that might be suffering, any kids that might be suffering from bedwetting or night terrors, thoughts of death or suicide, those that might be dealing with self-hate, with cutting type of behaviors, with self-harm, with body image behaviors, Father. Any learning disabilities, we ask that those be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Father, attention deficits, may those attention deficits get deficit no longer. Father, we pray for our children who might be going through a divorce, who may be experiencing situations where there might be turmoil in the home. Father, we lift up those children before you right now. We pray for those that seem to be lost in their way. Father, we pray for those that are dealing with anxiety, those that are dealing with panic attacks, those that, that aren't quite sure who they are, those that are undergoing an enormous level of peer pressure, those that have even lost their way. Father, whatever the situation is going on with our children, those that might be subject to fits of rage and anger, those that are dealing with behavioral disorders, Father. Father, is there anything too hard for you? 
Absolutely not. There's nothing too hard for you. If you can change Pharaoh's heart, if you can raise Lazarus from the dead, if you can heal the blind and open the eyes of those that can't see, if you can open the ears of the deaf, Lord, I know that you can rescue, save, help, and heal my child. Nothing is too hard for you. There's nothing too hard for you, Father. There's no situation that I'm facing. There's nothing that my child is going through that your hand is too short, that you can't reach down. You do not have alligator arms, Father. Your arms are never too short. Your arms are long, and they can reach down to the deepest depths. They can snatch them out of any pit. Father, I thank you. Though Even though these problems seem to be common in society, Father, I thank you for a good testimony. I thank you for a testimony of your mercy in our lives. I thank you for a testimony of your power and of your glory. I thank you for a testimony of healing and deliverance. I thank you for a testimony of freedom and victory. Father, I ask for the miraculous. I ask for the incredible. Your word says in Ephesians 3.20 that you do exceeding abundantly above all I can dare ask, think, or even dream of, Father. I thank you that you haven't changed who you are. You are the God who does the exceeding abundantly. And I ask, Lord God, that you would do the exceeding abundantly in our lives. Do it for me. Do it for my child. Do it for my family, Father. Put our home in order. Order our steps. Father, like King David, when he was running from Saul in the treacherous mountains of Israel, he didn't ask you to change the path you put him on. He asked you to give him the proper feet. Father, put us on the path that you would have us on, and then I ask you, God, that you would give us the right feet, that you would give us the proper feet. Feet that can handle any situation that we find ourselves in. You make our feet like hinds feet, Father. Teach our hands to war and our fingers to fight. By your grace, we are determined not to concede defeat in any area of our lives, especially in our children's lives. Father, shore up the vulnerabilities to the enemy's attacks. Fortify our resolve in you in this. Help us, O oh God. Father, I ask that you arise up as El Gabor. Contend with those that contend with us. Contend with those that contend with our homes. Contend with those that contend against our children. We are your people and the sheep of your pasture. Help us. Father, we call the prodigal child back into the safety of your care. We call the wayward child out of the pit of destruction. We call the lost child found. For you, O oh God, are the God who said that you will leave the 99 and seek and go after the one. I ask that you go after my one. Rescue them and return them to the fold. Instruct me, Lord God, in the ways of your wisdom. May I be a vessel that you can work through and not an obstacle that you have to work around. I surrender myself totally to you, Lord God, for you to use me to parent my child to help them in the way that you will cause them to be helped, that you need them to be helped. Not according to what I think, not according to what I've been taught, not according to what I've seen, Lord God, but I will hear and I'll open and I will climb my ears to do everything that you tell me to do. Father, I ask that you restore peace. I ask that you give us courage to make hard decisions. Give us courage to make righteous decisions. Father, I ask that you would give us courage to do the hard thing, but the godly thing and the right thing. I thank you for your courage. God, you are the God who does what we cannot do. You are the God who goes where we cannot go, and you are the God who changes what we cannot change. Father, right now we are asking you for divine intervention. And right now, I join my faith with everyone under the sound of my voice, and I ask that you would send your Holy Spirit to lead, guide, comfort, to shelter. I ask that you send out your angels to be protectors and reinforcers over our children and our loved ones. Father, I ask for miracles, signs, and wonders. And I thank you that we pray in, in faith. And so, Father, because we know that you've heard us, with great and eager expectation, we wait for the manifestation. So we just thank you right now. Father, I thank you. I thank you for a change in our children. I thank you for help in their point of need. I thank you 
the loss of being restored. I thank you for the process is already in motion. I thank you that we've activated your divine will. Father, I thank you that you give us the ability to be still and know that you are God. And Father, I thank you that even now you confirm this prayer by a touch of your presence upon the heart of every person, over every parent or grandparent that is praying with me right now, Holy Spirit. Father, restore hope. Thank you for your hope. I thank you for your power. And I thank you for a manifestation of your glory. Lord Jesus, we don't know how you're going to manifest your glory, but we're confident that you will. And we give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. If you agree with this prayer, if you prayed with me, leave a comment, type amen, or let me know how I can further agree with you in prayer. And we just look forward to God being exactly who he said he would be. And that is a faithful God. Amen. Amen. Please like this video. Please subscribe. Please share. It helps further the mission of praying for the home because if we can win the home, we can win the nation. If we can win the home, we can win the world. I'll see you in the next video.